Hi, my name is Mary Moses, and we're going to be reading a piece for Ginger, where Spirit explained to her and to us that once we reach a certain precipice in our spiritual awakening, that we, like a ballerina, transcend an old timeline. We leave the age of Pisces, we raise our frequency, things begin to shift within us and outside of ourselves. And Spirit says we have to go back and retrieve our past self like a time traveler. So we have to remote view our inner child and literally rescue them from the age of Pisces and take them here to this new world. When we quantum jump and quantum leap into becoming our best self by listening and hearing the voice of God, you have become an oracle if you hear the voice of God. When you become an oracle, then it's your job to go back and rescue your inner child so that their heart was never broken to begin with. And this will complete a process within you that will actually raise your frequency pretty high. I made a video and a meditation at the end of this video. So I encourage you guys to meditate and do a visual on retrieving your past child self so that um, you will not have pieces of yourself left in other timelines, supposedly. So let's get started. Retrieving Our Innocence Meditation We were live on TikTok where we created an ancient art technique known as scrying. In the looking glass, we actually create a television, a telepathic vision of the symbols that God brings forward to explain where we are, where we were, and where we're going. And according to Ginger's piece, we are going in circles and we come full circle. The circle of life. Ginger is at three places, at 11 o'clock, at 12 o'clock, and at 13 o'clock. <laughs> at 11 o'clock, Ginger has roses and ferns in her hair with a lioness and a crown and a Christmas tree. And below that, the crown is her inner child. She's holding a coin she is connected to the lady of necessity, someone who gives someone a coin as to where they are going. The coin that she is holding has a cross. This means that she has come out of the black box of Saturn. The box has opened up within her heart, which makes the shape of a cross. Below the cross in the hand are people going into a coin, kind of like we the people. At six o'clock, there is a church and water and a dragon and a Scorpio, a scorpion. Above that is a bumblebee and a man with white eyes like Noah, illuminated eyes, uh, giving lightning to a lower realm with water flowing from their heart, like living waters flowing from the heart and a staff that has the symbol of sacred geometry. Above the head is a butterfly, and in front of the face is a leaf, an oak leaf. In the center is a ballerina, twisting and making ripples through time. She's holding a sacred geometrical shape, and this sacred geometrical shape is connected to the five platonic solids. These five, five platonic solids are connected to the communications of God. Behind every pain and every pleasure is a sacred geometrical shape. In the beginning was the word. The word is God. God is sound and frequency and a shape. When I first saw your piece, it reminded me of this piece of art that I created of a tree that has been cut. And the circular lines in the cut tree reflects that our soul was cut. We were cut. And we have to quantum jump into the person that becomes the oracle. Once we hear the voice of God and see God, then we can time travel and go back to our past and retrieve our inner child that had been stuck in a prison, basically. And so when we save her or him, we have to know for sure that we never, our hearts were never broken. We were never hurt. And we have to forgive in, in such totality that we literally rescue our inner child from, or our past child self from all the pain that it did suffer. So we, we basically become time travelers once we're ready. And I know that you're ready because you have the number 23 on your arm, 
The oracle was written in the Bible 23 times, and so you are ready to become the oracle. The fern is a circular spinning shape that looks like the golden ratio or the Fibonacci sequence because the fern looks like a spiral before it's fully developed. So when Dorothy walked the yellow brick road to Emerald City, this began the spiral um, geometrical shape. So when you're thinking of the solar system or your heart chakra or the voice of God, the spiral is quite significant and you are spiraling your ascension, trying to balance your humanity, your spirituality, how you feel with what you think, and you're rewiring your brain and you're balancing many things right now. But you are being shown that God talks to you all the time and that you can see God within people and with everything and everyone in your outer reality. And once you awaken to this, you will be ready to go back into your past and to rescue your inner child, your past child self, kind of like Hermione going into the past and getting out of the labyrinth. The movie The Labyrinth is quite significant when it comes to the mirror, materialism, and many other allegories because when we find that baby and that little child self and rescue them, then we can find our way home. And so that's exactly what you will be doing. The bumblebee is the sound of God. The living waters is becoming Christ consciousness. And all of the allegories, even the four wings of the butterfly, reflect your fourth heart chakra to go to 5D, which is the number 23, which is the number five on the coin by your inner child. Your inner child holds the crown. This is why your child has the crown on her head, not yours. If you want the crown to the golden age of Aquarius, you must rescue your past child self from the age of Pisces. The leaf that's in this piece and the spinning around is a song that I wrote and I believe that spirit wants you to hear it. It's basically a song about rescuing a piece of ourselves that we have left behind. The song is called Faith Shake My Faith Shaken. <laughs> Faith Shaken right off of this tree.
that song, um, it was a really bad time and my inner child needed me to transcend this world of pain because we become time travelers and something happens within our heart chakra that ignites like a tetrahedron that you're holding and you spinning your ascension through sacred geometry, transcending time, transcending yourself, transcending the pain really you're quantum jumping but once you reach a precipice which seems to be that you have reached we have to go back in time to the child that is underneath the church and in your heart and so the church represents the freemason sim symbol of the compass the church looks like the compass and the steeple is the phallus of osiris Osiris's soul was cut 14 times. So th this made two worlds, a world of seven for her and seven for him. When we bring the male and the female back together again, the Adam and Eve, then we bring all 14 pieces together, the two worlds. And this is the number of the Holy Spirit. We have transcended time. We have overcome a, a weak soul or a dead soul or something that is in our DNA that uh, wasn't working. So now it's working and we have quantum jumped and all we have to do now to make things go full circle is to allow living waters to pour from our hearts with joy and thankfulness. Really study about the symbols of God, like quantum jumping, uh, quantum mechanics, uh, the, uh, the five platonic solids, alchemy, symbology, all of these things. But also do a meditation, which I'm going to put at the end of this video here, that encourages you to go back in time and like a lightning strike, you literally rescue your child from being cut. And so finding the pieces of your soul, retrieving them and rescuing them through time is our job once we reach a certain frequency, which you have, which is the symbol of the roses above your head and the fern and the Christmas tree is that you have walked up Jacob's ladder. You have hit the blazing star of Solomon and this means that now your job is to finish it retrieve that child bring her with you and remember you never experienced any pain you're going to obliviate your past like Hermione did to her own parents and this is something that many people don't talk about but this is what spirit is telling you that you are now a remote viewer time traveler that has a job to do and then once you're finished retrieving your child, you must imagine the new kingdom and the new earth and give yourself a new name and give the kingdom a new name. Just like the never ending story, you must call the new name of the empress. The dragon is an alchemical symbol of being eaten by the dragon. And this means that you enter the halls of God. It is also about fighting God and about burning away all that is false within you in order to really hear the truth of God. And once you hear God, then you're an oracle. And the oracle now has power. And this power is to create worlds and realities. And once you are balanced, it looks like you'll be Lady Necessity, giving out coins to those who either go along with the lower realm, mind control, we the people, the lower coin, or like a lightning strike, you, like a thief in the night, will help people to go to the higher realms. Enjoy this video that I made for you about retrieving your past child self. Allow the visuals of the symbols that I've brought for you to really manifest within your subconscious mind and begin to live in joy because you have been rescued and you just have a little bit of work to do to rescue your past and bring it into your present time. The days of Noah have returned because the man in your peace has the eyes shining as the eyes of Noah. Your spirit animal is the lioness and you also have the symbol of the butterfly. We are a time traveler. We are going back in time to rescue our past child self. Before our hearts were broken and our souls were torn in two from narcissistic, ignorant energies 
which shattered our future. You ready to go? It's time. Deep breath. <sighs> You're already there. It's easy. See the house. Smell the house. See the furniture and feel the energy of that place. See the people and find your past child self. They are waiting for you. They are kneeling down alone in their bedroom. We walk up beside our past child self and give them a glow-in-the-dark flower and we tell them that we love them and we give them a big hug and we tell them that it's time to go and your past child self comes with you and holds your hand as you usher your past child self into a glow-in-the-dark hot air balloon outside the front door and you get into the hot air balloon you light the fire and you begin to float up 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 toward the moon and the wind is blowing and the sky is black and the stars are twinkling and we have a blanket and we cuddle up next to each other looking at the tops of houses we smile at each other we give our past child self a locket to wear around their neck as a promise that their hearts will never be broken and that they are so worth so much love your heart begins to beat in the same rhythm as your past child self You notice how your past child self seems to have so much life, so much trust, so much magic. What a beautiful smile. Little angel. And we take our past self to an amazing land. where our past self is trained to become magical, powerful, authentic, and loved. We step out of the hot air balloon and walk a pathway inside a castle and you and your past child self share a room that is so large it looks like a theater there's a spring and a tree inside this room with a beautiful swing there are swinging beds and swinging couches and giant windows and secret hiding places. This is a place for the creative minds to make amazing things. Our past child self never experienced pain or shame. Their heart was never broken. They are now cradled in love and respect. 
and your smile and the smile of your past child self beams so brightly. You have now called back a piece of your energy or soul that was stolen from you. Keep your past inner child self in your heart and in your imagination. Keep them safe. Let them be imaginative. Let them make mistakes. And let them know that they are worth love just by being alive. 